This week on the Spotlight, we talked to Mr. Two No-Hitters, including a perfecto, Mr. Mark Burley, and Mr. Ozzie Gian. He was in charge in 2005 when they won everything. And this week on the Spotlight, Randy Williams, wearing the White Sox logo, and a package from the great Chicago Bulls when they were dominating in 93. Check out my website, Benkowski.com, for my weekly article and up-to-the-minute trivia sites. From wherever Chicago sports teams are making news, it's the 29th year of the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Sports Spotlight. They have tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and more, 108th in Kedzie. Lansing Floral Shop, open 8 a.m. daily. Custom silk flowers, Bridgewater candles, great flowers, 708 474 1212 a great floral shop Lansing floral get to the ballpark pub for my trivia game Monday June 26 8 p.m. eat drink and play 514 West Pershing Road with a 30 year Southwest side tradition Huckfin is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfast like the Becky Thatcher soups great lunches one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta. Great donuts and ice creams. With three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. Stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. You've got to get to Dr. Sherman Clay, chiropractor. Gentle adjusting. Most insurance accepted. Massage therapy, too. Walk-ins are welcome. Call 773-324-4325. That's HEAL. Dr. Sherman Clay. You've got to get to the Wise Owl at Van Buren and Racine. Pizzas, pork sliders, Cuban sandwiches, carrot soup, elote, burgers, tacos, salads, and more. Great cocktails and great bartenders. A tremendous array at the Wise Owl. Van Buren and Racine, see you there. You've got to get to Matt Anthony Sports Bar and Grill, 3350 West 47th Street. Serving La Coco's Pizza, always good. A wide variety of sandwiches and the full bar. And my trivia game every other Friday, starting at about 545. So good stuff at Matt Anthony. I'll see you over there. We'll have fun. We'll eat, drink, and play on a Friday late afternoon, early evening. Mark Burley put his name in the White Sox history book with the first no-hitter in 16 years. He no-hit Texas, faced the minimum number of batters, and we talked to him at the Sox Fest about pitching his season and 2007 in general. Well, I think, uh, I think our, we got this rotation that goes back to the playoffs. Um, obviously, when, when you get to the playoffs, anything can happen, as you can see, in 05 with us and 06 with the Cardinals, no one gave either team a chance. So uh, I think we have the team and then the starting rotation to get us back there. And uh, I'm, I'm getting ready. I mean, we got two weeks pretty much after this weekend's over. We got two weeks to, to get down to spring training report. So I'm getting pretty excited. Of the new guys, who are you most familiar with? And who do you think has a pretty good shot of getting that uh, fifth spot? Uh, I mean, just, just hearing rumors. Uh, I mean, Cliff Floyd's name is out there. Uh, some younger guys like Danks. I don't know. I don't know much about some of those guys. So uh, I think it's going to be an all-out battle in spring training. And uh, Kenny and Ozzy and, and Jerry, all those guys may have a have their say so on who it is right now. But uh, I think right now it's kind of open, and they got to go in there and battle for it. What will it be like coming off the year you had? I, I, my personal feeling is it'll be low pressure, and if anybody, the Tigers will have the pressure to win in your division. Well, I think the same way with us last year. I mean, uh, when you win a World Series. I think the following year, you're going to have the pressure of trying to repeat, trying to get back to the playoffs. Um, but yeah, I think you know, I agree with you. I think that uh, I think the Tigers are going to have the most pressure since they, they went to the the World Series and uh, represent the American League. What does that mean to your team? Do you, can you kind of get off to a hot start, sneak up on people, and uh, and uh, make a dent real early? Just go out there and I mean, uh, can't really worry about the other teams. It's such a long season that. Uh, I think if you do get off to a hard, hot start, you can't really sit back and get comfortable. You gotta, uh, you gotta keep on battling the whole season. As you can tell, with Detroit, they got off to a hot start last year. Minnesota didn't catch them. So uh, uh, I just think it's a long season. If we get off to a good start or a bad start, 
We just got to keep on concentrating and just realize it's 162 games. What will you do differently in 07 compared to 06? I know you had such a great run of 16 wins, 18 wins, 19 wins. How will you get back to that form? Uh, I ain't going to change anything. I'm going to do the exact same thing, and hopefully I don't miss my spots as much as I did last year. And uh, if I do, hope guys don't take advantage of them like it seemed like it happened every every time last uh, last season. So uh, I'm going to go out there. I've trained this offseason just like I always do. I'm going to go to spring training, be ready just like I always am, and uh, hopefully, hopefully things change for me. What about your lineup? Uh, you got a couple new faces, but not that much. What, what, what do you like about your lineup? Uh, I mean, I, it's pretty much the same thing. I mean, I, with Pesednik being off for a couple weeks, uh, I don't know how long he's going to be out for. But uh, Kenny's done an outstanding job the, the seven years, six years that I've been here, and he's been here that uh, putting the best 25 man team on the field uh, with money wise, free agents trying to sign guys. Uh, he does an outstanding job and. Uh, every spring training, like he says, this is 25 guys we're going to war with, and uh, hopefully no one gets hurt and we can make it to the end of the season. Although the winds aren't there yet, Lou Pinella seems relaxed in a pregame talk with the press. This case, he's addressing the Cardinals-Cubs rivalry. I, I'm not, I'm not too, uh, you know, too attuned to the rivalry, but I, I'm I, leaving uh, uh, the city today. I saw a lot of Cardinal fans with their with their Cardinal jackets downtown, so. Yeah, it'll be a fun day. It'll be a fun weekend. Have you uh, always enjoyed the competitiveness of managing against Tony Larusa? Well, when I was younger, you know, last night I managed uh, against uh, 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 another Hall of Famer, Bobby Cox, and uh, th these guys are good friends of mine. But uh, no, I, 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 all I look forward to is uh, managing my baseball team and the, the Cubbies and. Uh, I, you know, obviously you got to pay attention to what Tony does, but uh, we'll manage our baseball team. When you were a broadcaster last year, did you did you look at them uh, from a different perspective as to how you know these guys who manage against on the field manage? Was there any different perspectives that you picked up watching them in a different way? Not really. Uh, when I was up in the booth, I had my hands full doing what I was doing up there. Um, no, I. I didn't look at the team any any differently. Uh, I, we we scouted all the teams on Wednesday or Thursday, the games that I had to televise, and had a pretty good idea. Uh, but and then I talked to the manager and the pitching coach and possibly the the hitting coach. But no, I didn't look at I didn't look at the Cardinals or any other team with any idea in mind that I was going to manage or anything else. You've got to get to Lansing Floral Shop. Open at 8 a.m. daily. Besides a great array of live flowers, they have custom silks, Bridgewater candles. They want you to plan your parties early at a wide delivery area. They're located at 3420 Ridge Road in Lansing, or you can call 708-474-1212. Weddings, funerals, birthdays, anniversaries, and guys, try the No Reason Flower. Believe me, it works. Lansing Floral Shop. Give them a call, 708-474-1212. Kim G. Sherman, psychotherapist, Displains Wellness Center. Therapy for individuals, couples, families. Call 847-962-4849. I've known Kim for over 20 years. She is a true professional, and she will help you. Give her a call. Family dentist, Lawrence Furlan, DDS, 109th and Kedzie, crowns, veneers, cleanings, improving your smile, they do a great job. Call 773-233-7044. Excellent work. Impeccable. Call the family dentist. 773-233-7044. They did a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. You've got to get to Shelton Fireworks, the world's largest warehouse, off Interstate 94, exit 22B in Porter, Indiana. Row after row of the best fireworks anywhere. From the little ones to the grand finales that'll end your show. Birthdays, anniversaries, graduations, in addition to the 4th of July, just get over there to Shelton Fireworks now. Then you can reload by the time summer comes. Shelton Fireworks, I-94, exit 22B in Portage. You've got to get to Oliver's 6100 West 159th Street for my trivia game June 22nd 
I'm there every other Thursday. I'll see you at 7 p.m. Ozzy Guillen has been typically outspoken so far in Arizona. He has been particularly rough on the young left-handed relievers, saying they've been horse bleep. Ozzy isn't too happy with the record. Of course, they are practice games. You are working out the kinks. But it'll be interesting to see how Ozzy approaches 2006. He says to the club, we're not champions anymore. We're starting over. Well, I mean, great. I think uh, great experience. I, I never thought just because uh, we did it last year, my life got to change uh, everywhere. I think is uh, go back to my country, see people, the way they react, uh, walk in the Chicago street and pe see people, how excited they are. Uh, it was it was it was fun, but besides that, I was a little tired. I mean, I was doing a lot of stuff, especially when you speak Spanish. And I mean, I went to a lot, three or four different countries in the Caribbean and, and down in Venezuela. It was kind of fun. I was having something to do every day, and you know, just uh, real tired. But I hopefully I got the same same off season this year, half last year. I would say it's gonna be a win. They give the ring, put the ring on your hand. This one. Well, you know, it's something. Uh, we're always looking for. I think we work real hard for for that particular day. I think it's something, uh, it's an experience. We don't have that many guys on our team to have a championship ring in his fingers. And I think it's, a, it's one thing, I don't care how much money you have, uh, how much money you make, uh, it's something you can buy. It's a, it's a championship ring. I think it's a, hopefully, hopefully Jerry come out with a nice one. Hopefully, It'd be a good looking ring we can show. Are you going to have to take it easy on Pesednik, Dai, and Tomei all coming back from, uh, from surgeries uh, this spring? Well, I always, my spring training is always easy. You know, I don't try to, I don't have a boot camp, but uh, it's up to them. Uh, they know, they know myself, they know what I can, you know, what they can play for me. And they got to let me know how they feel. I talked to, uh, to Tommy last night, have a little conversation, uh, trying to explain how we're going to play in spring training. And, uh, it seems like he's fine, you know, I think his back is fine, everything is ready to go and he had a few swings uh, a couple of days ago and he said he was feeling great. They made so many moves in the offseason, I mean, they kind of what you have to work with it and can you make another run at it? Well, I think about, you know, last year in this particular time, I think we have better team this year in the paper than we had last year. You know, we got six pitchers, last year we only got four and hopefully you know, Hernandez, you Nogi know, Her, and other kind of question mark. Now we got six. And right now I think uh, the only thing I worry about is uh, who's going to take Martez's spot. And right now that's what I'm going to looking for in the spring, spring training. Uh, another thing is uh, having Anderson got the first shot to be the set of fielder. Uh, it's not in the team, but he got the very first shot. And hopefully he worked out real well in spring training. And, make the team be the best. I think right now, on the paper, we look good, and hopefully we play the way we look. I see all the other teams are after you now. You're the champion, they're trying to knock you off. How will that change your manager? Uh, we're going to be a champion, believe me, to February 18. When, when February 18 starts, after February 18, we're another team in baseball. I think I told my players, enjoy your last couple of days and be a championship. I think when we start spring training, championship is over, it's another season. Uh, right now, and I, I don't mind competing against anybody. We have to, you know, we have to worry about ourselves, and you know that's why we try to build the best thing we, we could to compete. You know, to have another competition this year. With a 30-year Southwest Side tradition, Huck Finn is open 24 hours to serve you with great breakfasts like the Becky Thatcher, soups, great lunches, one-third pound burgers, clubs, and much more. Dinners from seafood to steaks to pasta great donuts and ice creams with three locations at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski and 105th and Cicero. Stop in today. You know Huck Finn is open. Go play at Red Shoes Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski in Alsa, featuring 16 Brunswick Gold Crown pool tables, drop fluorescent lighting fixtures, and the fabulous grade of cloth. Call 708-388-3700 and now video gaming is available at Red Shoes from open till close. And don't forget the Illinois Lottery 2. That's Red Shoe Billiards, 12009 South Pulaski. You've got to get to the sock. Live Bidkowski trivia, alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 
93rd and Roberts Road. Great game, great people. Check out the sock. I think you'll be glad you did when you go to my trivia game every other Thursday. 8 p.m., 93rd and Roberts Road. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie does tune-ups, transmission, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes, and emission system repair. They're open Monday through Friday from 8 a.m. to 6 p.m., and they've done a great job for me. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie. You've got to get to Papa Joe's new location, 5900 West 111th Street. Italian beef, tetrazzini, great pizza, parmesan, ravioli, and more. All my classic choices. New location, and they can still deliver into the city. Get the Papa Joe's. We're back on the spotlight, 1993, Chicago Bulls. Take it away, Phil. Man, scoring-wise, and that uh, we still have to figure out. And uh, other than that, our defense is going to have stop penetration. I think that's the key that was tonight's uh, uh, real mystery that we couldn't answer. What's in the big picture for the Bulls going into this final few weeks before the playoffs? Well, we just well, the important thing for us is to be able to get up and guard people and uh, take away what the other team wants to do. What happens with that, that allows us to be able to get out and run up and down the court and get easy baskets. So when we're guarding well, we're playing well, and um, we'll get there. We'll get there. We're not quite there. We're happy with the win. Of course, everybody's thrilled, but uh, we'll, we'll get there. Tonight, we'll everyone played in sync, but what's the overall big picture for the playoffs in the next week or two? I think we're looking good. I think, you know, defense is what we really need and the key, you know, for the playoffs. And I think uh, as long as we play good, hard defense, it's going to ignite our offense. And uh, uh, I, I think as much as we can get uh, collective production from everybody, then I think we're going to be okay. The Bulls avenged their previous Phillies loss. Pat was there for the carnage. As a matter of fact, the 15-point lead they held after the first quarter made me turn to the guy next to me, and I said, this thing is over. And it was. Michael Jordan could leave the game with three minutes left in the third quarter with a lead of about 37-38. Never in doubt. Although Manute Ball entertained the crowd with a couple of baskets, including a three, this game was over very early. The Bulls won handily as expected, and if anything, got a little relaxation heading into the last couple that will decide the division. I guess it's pretty fun to have a laugher for a change, huh? Well, we really need this game uh, to clinch the Central uh, Division and uh, to get the, the starters some rest, and uh, you know, it's one of the, the biggest wins this year for us. Can you elaborate on what you want to accomplish in the final week? Obviously, you want to win games, but what uh, you know, what what nuances do you guys want to fine tune heading into the playoffs? Uh, defense. We want to fine tune our defense and and uh, try to keep teams under 100 points going into the playoff. If we feel that we can do do that, uh, I think we have another championship on our hand. What about Bill Cartwright, though? He and Michael Jordan both addressed the topic of the hated New York Knicks. Hopefully uh, it won't become a uh, wrestling match out there where guys are beating the target of one another and uh, we, we're going to have to have some altercations with people. We just want to play basketball. Well, you've never been shy about mixing it up when you have to. Uh, who would you look to on your team that pull under your wing and say, uh, I might need some help underneath? Well, I'm sure, more than sure, you know, we have enough guys here who have been in enough situations where, uh, especially from playing the, uh, the Pistons, uh, where we know, uh, hey, look, you know, you can't, you can't allow guys to grab you and throw you down. Uh, we can't allow our guys to be thrown down without maybe having it happen to them on the other end. And that's just basketball. And uh, like I said, hopefully it won't come to that. And uh, we can just go out and play some basketball. Can you anticipate a little bit about the way that game might be called? Don't know. You don't know it's going to be in New York. It's a televised game. I'm pretty sure they're going to try to keep control of the game and not let it get out of control. Uh, I think the league is certainly trying to eliminate fights and physical, over physical play, over physically playing by teams such as the Knicks. So I think that's important. And uh, but it's still always hard to determine how the referee is going to let the game go. You know, it depends on what referee. Every referee's got their certain personalities. You've got to get the jacks. 3325 Ridge Road in Lansing. Trivia every Tuesday at 7 p.m. A very intense competitive game. Any of half a dozen teams can win. 
My game show at Oliver's gets better and better. At 6100 West 159th Street in Oak Forest. Live trivia, alternate Thursdays at 7 p.m. Have great food, great drink, and great trivia at Oliver's. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair at 108th and Kedzie is great. Tune-ups, transmissions, AC service, engine repair, tire repair, oil changes. They're open Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. They do a great job for me, and they'll do a great job for you. They're quick, and they don't charge an arm and a leg. Perfect Pitch Auto Repair, 108th and Kedzie. Trivia will be at the Sock. Alternate Thursdays at 8 p.m. 93rd and Roberts Road. Great food, great drink, great people. Everything great. Reggie's is a great place with tons of music, interesting people and staff, great food and drink at 21st and State. And amongst the cool things they have, Benkowski Trivia. All shows are now Monday at 6 p.m. Reggie's, 21st and State, a fun place. We're back on the south side. We're talking White Sox baseball. And not all the new and upcoming stars in the team are 22 and fresh out of college. There's some guys who've been knocked around a little bit, have gone to the minor leagues, who've uh, maybe had injury issues, or a combination of both. We're about to talk to one of those guys. His name is Randy Williams, and even though he's not the youngest guy in the bullpen, he's a guy who, as we joke about in this interview, may have a little less wear and tear on his arm than some people younger than himself. And uh, he's taken an interesting path to get here to the White Sox. Uh, in the graphics we may show you some of the teams he's played for and there's been a lot and he's glad to be here he's glad to be in a pennant race and uh, he talks about that appreciation level here in August in the thick of the American League Central battle and as we get into the really heavy-duty part of the season uh, must be fun to be in a pennant race and wonder if you could compare it to any other baseball at any other level in your life well you know it's uh, it's different than the other teams I was up in the big leagues with because we were uh not exactly in this position. Uh, you know, the, the closest thing I can compare it to is probably you know my winter ball experience this last year, and and uh, you know making it making it to the championship and winning the whole thing there, and and uh, knowing knowing what that feels like and dealing with uh, with uh, you know the, the pressure of the of the people down there that you know they, they really like their baseball. So you know, as a person that hasn't had as much uh, as much big league time as as most people that are still playing my age have had, uh, you know. I, most of the teams I was with didn't have this opportunity. So you you could tell you're savoring it and uh, making the best of every uh, time you get the call. Yeah, you know every every time I get the ball, no matter what the score is or whatever, I'm trying to go out there and, and do the same thing. Of course, you know whenever it's a it's a tough situation uh, or or a close game, you know you have a little extra adrenaline. But for me, you know every game is important. You know I'm trying to I'm trying to you know stay here and, and show them what I can do. Tell our viewers uh, where you grew up. Maybe who some of your early baseball role models were, and uh, and a little bit about the pathway to get here. Well, I, I grew up in in Texas. Uh, you know, Nolan Ryan was, uh, of course, the guy that I always like watching throw. You know, anybody that could throw like that, uh, as long as he did, and uh, do a lot of it in Texas. Uh, you know, that was a guy I watch, always watched growing up. Uh, you know, my path was a little bit different than everybody else's. I took the scenic route. I uh, you know went from college, got drafted, hurt. Uh, you know, through, through I think three innings my second season, uh, through 50 innings the next year, blew out my elbow, missed the next year, got released, went home and worked for a year and a half or so, finally played independent ball, and uh, you know, I think I was 27 my first uh, full professional season, so I wouldn't advise anybody taking that route, but, uh, you know, I look at where I am today, and, you know, with uh, with my family, you know, I wouldn't have ever met my wife if I hadn't got hurt, uh, so I... You know, I really wouldn't trade it. I wouldn't trade it for the, you know, for the opportunities that I've had, uh, you know, with the rest of my life and where I am now. So uh, everything works out. You know, everything happens for a reason. The optimist would say you have less mileage on you because of the time you you were off and away, right? Yeah, that's true. You know, that's every year they're like you're. You know, I may be 33 years old, but I've got a younger arm. Uh, you know, even though it's been uh, surgically repaired, I don't have a lot of wear and tear on it. I look at the amount of innings that some of the, you know. 25, 26 year old guys have in AAA, especially the starters, and you know their workloads have been heavier than mine throughout my career. So uh, you know I I do feel that way. You know I, of course you still have the you still have the uh, some of the the factors as you get older. You know the 
you know, maybe getting a little bit sore here and there. But uh, as far as arm goes, you know, I, I still feel like I'm, you know, I'm gaining every year. And, you know, that's what I tell my wife. If I ever start feeling like I'm regressing or I'm not getting any better, then it's time for me to give it up. But as long as I, as long as I can keep feeling like I'm getting better and uh, getting stronger and able to do it day in and day out, you know, I'm, I don't feel old at all. That's, that's good. Good to hear that. Well, what do you, how do you sense your role here and, and how adaptable is it in terms of, you know, maybe even getting a spot start here and there? Because I know that's an area of need for the White Sox. Yeah, I'll do, I'll do what they ask me to do. You know, if, if they want me to come in and get uh, a lefty here, a lefty there, you know, several days in a row, that's fine. You know, I think probably the biggest benefit I can be is to uh, take, take some of the workload off of the other guys. You know, they've got their guys that can get the job done. Uh, but somebody that can come in into tight situations or, you know, fill the other roles and, and eat up some innings here and there, you know, I, I think that's how I can be, become more of a viable part uh, of this bullpen. Well, having seen other clubhouses, what, what is it about this team that makes you think that this is a, a team that can be a postseason team? Well, what, what is there about this team? Well, it, you know, it's more than just one thing. First of all, you know, whenever we give up a few runs or, uh, you know, whenever – Whenever we're not ahead in the game early, it, it, it doesn't seem to be a, a major area of concern because we've got guys that can uh, that that can produce runs, and you know the the acceptingness of these guys for all you know the new faces that come in and, and how quickly they can gel, and you know even in my case how accepting they've been of me coming in here because you know in, in a clubhouse that's trying to win, it's uh, it's not so much you know somebody that's inexperienced if they can get the job done then then they're accepting and I was with these guys in spring training so that helped a lot you know they saw I had a I had a pretty successful spring training so you know it, it's it's just a it's kind of a multitude of things you know you got you know pitchers that can go long you got bullpen guys that you know are filling roles that even some of them haven't filled before uh, that often but you know everybody's pitching in and that's the, you know that's the thing that uh, you know everybody's contributing uh, if, if, if somebody's falling short, somebody else is picking up the slack. So, you know, that always makes for a, a, a lot better clubhouse and, and a lot better team. Uh, to wrap up, when you look at the team's lineup, uh, you know, you read about these guys. You, maybe you see them in spring training, but it's not quite the same. Who have you seen uh, on a day-in, day-out basis now and you said, wow, I, that guy really is a special player? Well, I mean, it's, it's been a little over a week, but, uh, you know, I would have to say, you know, watching watching AJ swing in the bat, and uh, you know, watching watching some of these guys that are younger guys, uh, you know, you know Beckham, he, he was with us for a minute in Charlotte, but not very long, and you know, I was. It's always a question whenever young guys get sent to the big leagues early, and uh, see how they're going to, you know, react and respond, and and to see how he's handled himself and and how comfortable he is. See you next week. You've got to get to Lulu's. Some of my best friends, technical people, go there. Italian beef, hot dogs, burgers, chicken, gyros, fish, salad, subs, and ribs. It's a Taylor in Ogden, 2200 West. It's easy to find and great to eat. Lulu's. This week's show has been brought to you by the Perfect Pitch Auto Repair Shop. They do it all at 108th and Kedzie. Huck Finn, a great wide-ranging menu, along with donuts and ice cream. Open 24 hours at Archer and Damon, 67th and Pulaski, and 105th and Cicero. In print graphics, leaders in booklet, perfect bound, saddle stitch. Very competitive pricing. Call 708-396-1010.